This video will walk you through how to log in and create on Padlet. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and go to Padlet.com. Then you're going to click Login. You want to make sure that you click Login with Microsoft because we're going to use our KL Schools email and password to log in. Once I've typed that in, it'll bring me to this desktop now, if you have used Padlet before, you'll see your Padlets. But right now, we're going to click Make a Padlet. There are many different options that Padlet gives you for the types of things that you can do. You could make a wall. You could use a canvas, which I like because it allows you to connect things and move things around. There are other options like Shelf. Or you could even do a timeline if you're trying to present your research and that makes sense. Uh, for this particular demonstration, I'm going to use a canvas. When you first click on it, it will randomly generate a Padlet for you. So you can go in and you can change the title of your Padlet. Since you're going to be sharing this with your librarian, you're going to want to name it something related to your project. You can change the description. You can add an icon. I like sunglasses, so I always use the sunglasses emoji. You can also change the wallpaper. They have some colors and gradients and uh, textures and patterns that you can use. They also have pictures. You don't want to choose anything that's too busy because that will take away from the research that you're trying to present. There is an option for you to add your own, but like I said, you don't want to make things too busy. Once you've chosen that, you can go back, you can change the color scheme so that the tiles on your Padlet are white with black letters or black with white letters. You can change the font. You don't have to worry about anything down below. Once you're done making your changes, you'll click Next, and then you can start posting. Now, there are two ways that you can uh, add to your Padlet. So you can click uh, the little pink button on the bottom or you can double click right on the screen and it will open up a post for you. You can title that post. You can write within that post. If I'm finished writing on that particular post, I can click off of it and then I can click and drag it wherever I want on my canvas. To get back into it, you can click the little pencil button or double tap on it. There is a little toolbar on the bottom of each post. You can upload, you can add a link. If you click on that magnifying glass, it opens up a Google image search and you can actually go right into that and type in uh, whatever it is you'd like to add an image of and it will add it to the post. So I really like motorcycles, so I'm gonna type motorcycle and click on the first image there. Once it uploads, that is added to my post. Now, if I want that to be a little bit bigger, you'll notice I can go along the edge. There's a little yellow dotted line. If I just click and drag the edge, I can make my post bigger. To add another post, you can double tap or go back down to the bottom and uh, click the little pink plus button. You'll notice on the bottom of that toolbar, there are three little dots all the way to the right. If I click on that, it opens up a menu, and there are a whole bunch of things you can add to each post. You could do a link, you could do another Google image search, you could film a video, you could do a voice record, you could do a screen record. There's so many things you can add to each of your posts. Another thing you can do is if you click on the three little dots there, you can actually connect your posts to one another. This can only be done in Canvas. So I would type in, let's say, connecting lines and hit connect, and then it connects with an arrow and a label. You don't have to have that label there, but you can if you're trying to make a point about why those two particular posts are connected. I can then maybe do a third post and I can connect all three of them together. So this one will be post number three. I'm gonna add a picture to it. Instead of just using words, I could just say post number three and add the image. I don't know why it randomly pulls up posts. 
I guess that's because I put tight the title is post number three and that's what it looks for when you do an image search and then I can again click those three little dots on the post hit connect and maybe I don't want to label this one I could just click connect and it will add a connecting line from post number two to post number three now if I want to get rid of those I can go back to that middle post and hit disconnect and I can X out of the lines. Maybe I want to connect the post number one to both posts. I could do that. And then again I can drag these posts around wherever I'd like them. I particularly like having the canvas because it allows you so much customization but like I said in the beginning you can choose any type. If I need to change something I can go into my settings Maybe I want to make my posts black with white writing and then just make sure you save any changes and close. Now if you want to share this, oh, I got an email saying my Padlet is ready to share. So if I want to share, I click share. You can click add members and then if the person you're trying to share it with has a an account you can type in their name or email and it will show up but it's usually just easier to go down and copy link to clipboard and then you can go into your email and actually directly paste and email uh, that link to your library teacher now to get back to the main screen I can just click Padlet up at the top left and you'll see there's my passion project 2020. I'm just going to show you really quick something that I've been working on for a while. Uh, this is uh, a bunch of recommendations for ebooks that I have, but you'll notice I have a lot of different posts. So you're not really limited to like three or four posts on your Padlet. You can do, I think I have like 24 posts on this particular uh, Padlet. So it's a great way to share your research in a visual way.